All right, stay spiritual brothers and sisters. Today we're going to take a look at Joe Rogan and Hulk Hogan talking about religion. Two worlds are going to collide. Oh yeah, you got the Hulkamania and the Joe Rogan, they're going to collide. All right, so stay spiritual team. Jump on the largest back of the world and I'll backstroke you all the way to enlightenment. They stopped moving, they stopped well, taking care well, of Well, that's themselves. what Willie Nelson told me. He said, Hogan, if you slow down, you go down. But you look know? at fucking Mick Jagger. Um, we went to see Mick Jagger last week. We went to see the Stones last year. Yeah. And it was Mick Jagger's Biden's age. And he has two trailers that he brings everywhere he goes that are just exercise equipment. Wow. And this guy trains every day. He that's trains crazy. every day. And that's that's how you can still move around like that when you're 80. He's up there dancing and yeah. shit and singing and <laughs> putting on this amazing jump. show at 80 fucking years old. Yeah, but I, I think a lot of it's mindset too, you know, because not to Bible thump you to death, bro, but I keep I keep one foot in each each zone, man. I keep, you know, in this human incarnation, I keep one foot, you know, kind of like in the human incarnation. I keep one foot in the spiritual incarnation, you know, mm. and when stuff goes down or this goes down or things go wrong in my life, I deal with it, you know, as efficiently as I can. I, then I bracket it and I go back to center, you know. And I've got this crazy relationship with God, brother, and I've got this crazy relationship spiritually with who I am and, and why I'm here. And so all that takes precedent over all the noise. Mm. You know, the border and this and the criminals and the crooks mm -hmm. and the government. And I, and I, I, I listen to it, and I kind of I kind am really, really aware of what's going on, but then I go back to center. Yeah. You know, I go back to center because I've got a whole bunch of opinions about certain things and at the end of the day my most important thing is to know what my number one priority is and stay centered and stay as close to god as i can so that's why i look at things really positively you know what i am bro mm. my girl out there has corrected me so many times I'm not trying to you know say anything weird or anything but there's so many times where i can go the wrong way quick and it, when I go one way quick, I'm all in, you know, so I got to be careful. Mm -hmm. So if I start deviating a little bit, you know, there's certain people that can talk to me. Okay, well, it's not that bad. Or just, just think about the big picture. So. so you know these guys in the cartel? They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, what I'm trying to yeah. say is all the stuff we've talked about. Yeah. When I look at everything around me, I go back to where I'm at. I'm going, man, life is good, brother. I think this, this is a very important thing for people to hear because there's a lot of people that dismiss religion. Um, because they think they're too smart for it. I think there's a there's a great value in being connected to whatever you believe. If you believe in God, if you be believe in Allah, if you believe in whatever whatever you believe, there's a great value to believe that there's a higher power and that there are like there's good ways to live life. There's a there's a correct way to live life, and it does bring you more peace. And it can, it does really work. And so for a guy like you to say that, I think is it's important for people to hear. Because I think when I was younger, I, I always dismissed religion too, because I kind of dismissed it as stories that were written by people. But that's not dismissing God and the idea of God. It's like, we don't know what is going on in this bizarre life that we live. Mm -hmm. But I do know that a lot of people that I know that are very happy and grounded and centered are also religious a lot of people i don't think it's a factor that anyone should discount and um the people are very smug about it you know they're too smart for that you're not going to trick me you know that kind of shit so there was a lot said there i noticed hogan was sporting the john 316 shirt yeah for those of you who don't know it back to your uh what is it, sunday school it was for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, no, I I think Joe Rogan, I think he made a good point at the end there of not dismissing religions because it sounds silly. I think a lot of people, they use the construction of the religion to tap into something personally. Because I find like the more I like get to know people and their different religious beliefs, 
uh, it's always a little bit different. It's ne it's always unique, almost like crafted a little bit towards them. Even in Hulk Hogan's case, like if you watch this whole podcast, which I highly recommend, at the tail end of it, they talk about spirituality for about 45 minutes. Uh, and Hogan's idea of Christianity is probably not going to be the same as, you know, uh, you know, a uh, uh, hardcore Baptist, you know, person, you know, he's still involved with a lot. Of, like he brought, like he's got his weed product. He sells weed products. Right. And they were like, Joe Rogan and his guests were like, hi, while he was talking. They were like, man, this is some good Hogan weed, man. Some good Hogan weed. <laughs> we did a video, we responded to a video of a Christian guy that was like, don't smoke weed. Yeah, I know. So that just goes um, to show you how different mm -hmm. uh, these mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, and well, they're in the same, like, technically the same religious belief system. When he first started talking about it, I felt like he said a lot without really saying anything. I was like, wait a sec, what did, what did you say? Because <laughs> he was like, I just, you know, I get in the zone and I got this crazy relationship with God. I was like, what do you mean you got a relationship with God? Is what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, you probably, if you watch more of the religion, you could probably tap into a little, or sorry, if you watch more of the podcast... Uh, you can probably get a little bit better of an idea where he's at in there. Yeah. Like he goes to church. Yeah. I'm sure he's praying. He's like, I'm tapped in, you know, like. It's amazing humans get along with each other because you're right. People are religious in such different ways. You know what I mean? Like even within a church, they'll be like, you're, you're like Christian warriors, you know, yeah, and yeah. then you'll, be, you'll have like your Christian to real timid, you know, like I just learned to dial it back a little bit. You know, sometimes it's like some ex-convict or something that's like, I don't need to strangle people anymore. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. there'll be some person who's like, you know, really latched on to the Bible verses about like loving kindness or service or something like that, right? And they all make up the body of Christ. And it's just interesting. That's just within a church. You got different people. And now those people out in the world, you know, run into some people of a different religion and they can work together. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's amazing humans can get along and, it yeah. all, and the, everything works. And how so things different. can change over time. Like uh, I've seen some people who uh, were very loose and liberal with their belief systems all of a sudden become like tight knit conservative and buckle down. And then I've seen people on the other side of that spectrum do the opposite, like wild, like they're so like, you know, Jesus is the only way, and when that and 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 uh, the the Bible is the way, the truth, and it's the only one. And then like you meet them ten years later, and they're like, I'm more of like a universalist now, where like yeah. you know everyone, you know they believe what they believe, and it's good. It's amazing how it can change. Yeah. Um, but uh, I highly recommend this podcast. It was great. Um, and guys, if you liked our reaction on it, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share this with a friend and everybody. Until next time, stay, stay spiritual. spiritual.